And she's like, Mama, can you know what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, egg cup. <laughs> yeah. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Careful, yeah, that happened last time, didn't it? Bang. Bang, 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 bang. Okay. That is looking for. Oh. Make sure you splatter some on yourself. Is that yummy? Hi everyone, welcome to episode two of Cooking in Quarantine. My name is Tara and I'm the accredited practicing dietitian here at Little Ones and this is, what's your name? Lily. Lily. <laughs> and Mama, Lily. Yeah, your name is Lily. And today we're gonna make, okay. we're gonna make eggy cups. Oh yeah, eggy cups. <laughs> These are easy to make, they're a source of protein and iron and they're great for using up leftover veggies. They're also a perfect snack, so they combine complex carbohydrates with protein and some healthy fat and it's a uh, I'll get on the sugar box. Oh, you don't sugar box? On the pan. On the pan, yeah. Um, they combine complex carbohydrates with protein and healthy fat and this combination helps to keep a little one's blood glucose levels stable between meals, which is what we want. Because we're in isolation, please feel free to sub out any of the vegetables for the same amount of any vegetables that you have in the fridge. Um, softer things like green veggies, mushrooms, capsicum, cauliflower, they can be added after a quick pan fry, but the hard things like potato, sweet potato, um, and carrot will have to be steamed before being added. Okay, so let's see what ingredients we need. Okay, so first things first, we need to preheat our oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit if you're using Fahrenheit, um, just onto a bake setting. Um, and our ingredients are, we're gonna use one chopped medium onion. What's that one? Onion. Onion, your icicle is going everywhere. We need um, half a cup of steamed pumpkin pieces. We're actually steaming them at the moment, so we can't show you those ones. Then we need half a cup of grated cheese. Um, if your little one has a cow's milk protein allergy, then you can sub the cheese out for a sort of melty variety of vegan cheese if you can find it. Or you can use some the same amount of tofu, grated tofu, with a little bit of nutritional yeast um, for the same sort of flavour. Then we're going to use two tablespoons of rice bran oil. You can use avocado, grapeseed, or sesame rice bran or sesame. These oils all have quite a high smoke point, so they're good for using at high temperatures like frying, um, and that's important just because we don't want oils to go past their smoke point because when they do, they can release some nasty compounds. So we want to make sure that we're using those ones that have the highest smoke point. Then we have, we have half a cup of chopped spinach. We didn't have any chopped spinach in our supermarket, so we're using Rocket, so wish us luck. Um, a quarter of a cup of grated zucchini. A quarter of a cup of chopped, what's that one? Capsicum. We've got four eggs, these have been whisked. Louis whisked them for us earlier. And then we have half a cup of ricotta. I actually panicked in the supermarket yesterday because I don't like being in there at the moment and I bought cottage cheese instead. We're gonna use that, but luckily this recipe is really forgiving. It's a great one, very forgiving. Okay, we also have a pinch each of salt and pepper and some smoky paprika and cinnamon. You can use a pinch, a couple of pinches of whatever spices or herbs you want, dried herbs that you want, feel that your little one likes, it doesn't really matter. Or you can leave them out, um, but the salt and pepper is nice to have in there. Okay. Okay, so we have placed a large fry pan on a medium heat, and now we're just gonna saute off our vegetables a little bit so they're softer for when we cook them. Did you wanna add, that's the rice bread oil, you're gonna add that one? Oh, well done, that's so good. And then we're gonna add- That's a big one. That's a big one. And, and then that's a little one. And a little one. It's a big one and a little one. Do you wanna put this one in, the onion? This is mommy's. Is that mine? Do you wanna put the onion in? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, careful, that happened last time, didn't it? Careful, we need to stand back while it's sizzling. Stand back. Stand back while it sizzles, just while it sizzles off, darling. Okay. And now we need to add the rest of the veggies. What else do we have to add? What's this one? Do you want to put this one in? You don't want me to do it. Be careful, though. Be careful. Good job. Okay. Do you want to give this one a stir? Yeah. Okay, you give it a stir. Keep stirring. 
Good job. Keep stirring. And now do you want to put this one in? Yeah. The capsicum? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give it. Give it a bang. Bang. Bang, 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 bang. Get it all to so good. Get it all out. Get it all out. Yep. And then we're going to add our rocket. Do you want to put the rocket in? Yeah. You tip that one in. Whoa. Wow. Good job. Okay, and we don't need to add our pumpkin obviously because it's been steamed right here. Okay, give it a little bit more of a stir. Yeah, pumpkin. Yeah, pumpkin? Yeah. Keep stirring, Lulu. This is what it looks like. This is our bird's eye view. We're just getting everything slightly brown, not too overcooked because we still want it to have some integrity when it comes out of the oven. Good job, Louie. I want to pick some basil. Do you want to pick some basil? Yeah. Okay, we can pick some basil. We can even put some in our egg cups. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we've fried up our veggies and we've added them to our bowl. And now we're going to add our pumpkin. Do you want to put the pumpkin in? Yeah. Oh, oh good job, darling. And we're going to add our ricotta. Pull the ricotta in. Oh, our, ours is cottage. And then we're going to add some cheese. Do you want to add the cheese in? Yeah. Oh, oh so cheesy. <laughs> so cheesy. Okay, we just going to use that one to get the rest of that out. Oh, you're going to eat the cheese? All right, we're eating the cheese. Just going to eat it. And now we're going to add the basil that we picked from the garden, the new addition, last minute addition, as requested by Lulu. Oh, let's go in there. And our spices. Oh, good job, darling. Let's get the rest of them out. Okay, and now our whisked eggs. Are you going to pop that one in there? Whoa, good job, Lily. Now we wash the eggs. Now we wash the eggs? Watch the eggs. Okay, do you want to give it a stir for Mama? Oh, our whisk took a bit of a beating from you today, didn't it? <laughs> it's not a happy whisk. He's got a funny hairstyle now. All right, so we're mixing that one up. Can mummy have a turn? That's your one, yeah. Can I have a turn quickly? No, we're gonna, right, I'm gonna use the spoon to just help out, make sure it's all mixed through. Just like that, mix everything up. Okay, that is looking good. Oh, make sure you splatter some on yourself. All right, perfect. So now we're ready to pop these ones into the muffin cases. Okay, so we've got our eggy cup mixture right here that Louis mixed up so superbly. And we've got a muffin tin. We've just got a little bit of oil on our muffin tin, on a little paper towel, and we're just gonna oil up the muffin tins. Mummy can do this bit. And then we're gonna spoon some of the eggy cup mixture into the muffin tins. Oh, that's good. Some of the eggy cup mixture into each of the muffin tins. Into a bowl. Into a bowl. Sort of like a bowl in the cup. Leaving a little bit of room at the top just so that it can rise a little bit. You want to do some more? Good job, darling. A little bit more? Okay. So we're going to finish these off and these will be ready to go into the oven in a minute. Oh, can I just, this one's just escaped a little bit. I'm going to put that bit of pumpkin back in there. Okay, so we're going to pop these. We're going to fill the rest of these up and pop them into the oven to cook for 20 minutes or until you stick up. Oh, we've got a smaller one actually, so it's probably going to be a bit quicker. They're making one. They're going to make little balls, little eggy cups. Um, so they're going to go in the oven for 20 minutes or until you stick a knife into the center of one of them and they come out clean. If you're using a smaller one like this, just give it a check at 10 minutes just to see where they're at. So these are our finished eggy cups. They've already been touched already by um, We're going to give them a try. You want to try one of those? Is that yummy? The verdict says they're yummy. So we're going to have those with some salad and we're going to have them for our lunch. Alright, thanks for watching. Can you say thanks for watching? Thanks for watching.